morning, everyone. It's uh, a pleasure and it is an honor to be here with you and share the good, the good news of our God, what he has done in Athens, in Greece, with uh, Crossroads uh, Ministry. So, I'm Apostolos, and uh, as you know, this is Daphne, my better half. We're both in the medical field. And uh, we're serving the Lord in uh, Athens, uh, in Athens, uh, Greece. We are newlyweds. We were, uh, our wedding took place in uh, last August in Greece. So yeah, this is actually an experience being uh, first time alone. <laughs> so before we start, what's the first thing that comes to your mind when you hear Greece? Parthenon, Acropolis, the Odeon of Herodotus. Amazing, the streets, definitely. But allow me to give you another view. First, a little geographical lesson. As our national poet said, Greece is the country of the five seas and surrounded by three continents. This is another view of Athens. 50,000 refugees right now are staying in Greece. 30,000 of them, they're in the city of Athens. Where does it take us? What is our mission with this group? How we respond? What is our response? Our mission is to serve the Lord by providing spiritual, medical, and psychological aid to those in need in Athens, Greece. Allow me to introduce our team. This is Athenis and Irene, directors of Crossroads Center, Faisal, Faisal and Bella Masik, directors of Ministry of the Pakistanis and Indians, and of course, me and Daphne, directors of uh, Crossroads Medical Center. This is our family, but as you can see, it's getting bigger, by, getting bigger and bigger by the day. Mm. Our ministry address, addresses to those social excluded groups without physical and uh, physical health care, social support, and we address the big why. This is the, the, most, the most frequent question we ever hear. Why? Why we care for them? <clears throat> why we love them? And the answer is simple. Because of the love of Jesus Christ in our lives. Mm -hmm. yeah. Who are the people that we are serving? People from all over the world, more than 12 nations right now in Crossroads Ministries. People who run away from dictatorships, famine, terrorist movements, war, everything. Today we face the Afghanistan crisis and the first phase of the Ukrainian invasion of Russia. Let me give you an insight of our medical program. In three years, since 2018, that we first started, we provided for, we, we provided 1,000 refugees with their medication. We care for more than 1,000 clinical patients, and we were with 50 families in their house providing house health care in these years. The Lord has been good with us. The, mo the three most common medical issues: dermatological, pulmonary, cardiological issues. Our medical program provides daily checkups. It keeps a private record of these people. So if they leave Greece, this can help them go to other countries and continue their treatment. We treat small injuries and educate and console refugees. Whatever we know as a Western, as Western countries doesn't apply to them. They don't know even the basics. So. But of course, as I said, our real focus is to share the good news of the gospel. How we do this, even at the times of COVID? Via Bible studies, via personal contact, one-on-one, -on -one, answer questions, they're Muslims. It's not easy for them to speak on big groups because they, they are afraid of persecution of their kind. Via small groups, via books and evangelistic leaflets, and via social media because of COVID. Zoom was uh, our preferable uh, our, our, Oh, yeah, thank you. At this time, these are the results. These are the fruits. Yeah. People getting baptized, 
people loving Jesus, mm. hearing the good news of the gospel. This is for his glory. So what are our next steps? Mm. Our next step is to establish a new clinic, daily clinic, a day clinic in Athens, at least with two clinical wards. We've been blessed from some people from America that they want to, to uh, respond to this call and they provide with uh, the exact amount that we need for this. Our next step is to establish a brand new healthcare, better than the one that already, already exists, free for everyone, and to challenge them after with the love of Christ. Why? To answer the big why. And gather a team of Christian doctors and nurses to serve in the ministry full or part-time. What we need your prayers for? Our academic life, Daphne is still in college. Uh, she has one more year to finish. The wisdom of God in our lives, new partners and partnerships. More people to come and hear for the salvation and work of Jesus Christ. And of course, our personal financial support. Thank you for your attention. God bless.